Mini Popper is basically a four-legged uh, four robot initially created by Stanford University. They made that as open source robot. So its capability is that we'll be able to do 3D motion to uh, make different walking motion as well as to make sound. There are a lot of engineering projects that you can see people competing like a race, race robot or fighting robots but it's not really a one create the creativity and get students to collaborate together. So they don't have to compete who has the fastest robot, who has the best robot, but what's creativity a person has. So I think this temple is very unique in that way. Our student is very creative, so they can make the music into the robot, and it's just how much fun you will have with the robot. That definitely made you think outside of the box. Uh, it's not just necessarily following equations or following certain numbers. You have to think of different um, ways to solve problems you uh, occur. So you have to think of a lot of different aspects and when dealing with a robot. For me, I actually got to enjoy learning. Usually with tests, I get really stressed out and sometimes that just it prevents me from learning as much as I can and it prevents me from actually enjoying as much as I can. But with this class not having exams, I really got to take my time to understand the material. The, f the goal is I want the student to have fun um, because uh, robot is a very, very complex uh, engineering um, project. So to understand a big picture, how to set everything up, the important thing is to understand the process rather than understand the nitty-gritty uh, small thing about what the engineering application because this whole engineering process is what I want the student to learn. If you use the AWS RoboMaker, you can make the robot to be appear in the cloud space. So you don't have to physically purchase a robot, you can basically control the robot in the cloud space. So I'm missing the interaction with the students because I can see the joy they have once they control the robot so this is the part that's missing. I still want to have that part, so I'm looking forward for this uh, upcoming fall semester.